Private First Class Bruno is a one-year-old, full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on October 22, 2022. He is named after Major General Bruno Hochmuth, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hochmuth was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hochmuth was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat V for Valor, the Navy Combination Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Private First Class Bruno continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921 when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. Private First Class Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Sergeant Jesse Carter Powell. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Roof Bryan, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Holy One, on this day of great celebration, we give you thanks for these young men of Company B who have earned the title Marine. We give you thanks for the gifts and abilities you have given to each one of them, which they now bring to strengthen our Marine Corps. We give you thanks for the drill instructors, company officers, and battalion leadership who have shaped and molded these young men into Marines. We are grateful this day for the families who have supported them every step of their journey, for their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends. We give you thanks. We ask, O Holy One, that you be with these new Marines as they continue in their training. Keep them safe and bless them. Remind them to be always faithful to their country, to their core, to each other, and to themselves, just as you, O Holy One, are always faithful. Bless our nation. Bless these new Marines. And God, bless the United States Marine Corps. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company B, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Gunnery Sergeant Benjamin J. Goodson, Company 1st Sergeant, Company B, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Staff Sergeant Jonathan S. Ortiz, Drill Instructor, Company B, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. Hey, 
Marching in today's parade are 272 of the graduating Marines from Company B. Among the 272 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Aaron J. Vargas from Platoon 1030 is the company high shooter scoring a 337 out of 350. Private First Class Austin R. Browning from Platoon 1031 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 297 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Not present today, but worth recognizing is the company honor graduates recruiter, Sergeant Tanya Baragan. Also present today is a primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 217 out of 250 for platoon 1030, Sergeant Alejandro A. Rivero. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Example of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de Corps acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, Moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and a burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company B, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization.
platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command.
following the command. Parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many have helped shape our history. Join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryans, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Rummler, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Bravo Company. Today's ceremony, before, I'd like to take a moment to welcome to today's parade reviewing official. Joining us from Camp Pendleton, California, the Sergeant Major for 9th Communication Battalion. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in their time here. Gathering here, 13 weeks, they stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They dug deep, they trained hard, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now this magical transformation didn't happen on its own. So I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The foundation of their character wasn't made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you to the parents teachers, families, friends, and coaches, your love, your support, and for many, your signature on the contract set conditions vital to their success. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. To our spectacular drill instructors who spend every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines. Their, Their dedication, dedication and commitment has, has made a lasting, lasting impact on your loved one, which, which they will always remember and appreciate. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, the drill instructors and officers of Bravo Company are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families, who also joined us in the audience today. Please join me in a well-deserved applause for the drill instructors and families of Bravo Company. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, corpsman, and the entire medical team, who've done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and spiritually strong. And of course, the dedicated recruiter that saw potential in your Marine. In fact, joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Sergeant Rivero, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And, and unable to be here in person, but joining us in TV land is Sergeant, Sergeant Berrigan from Recruiting Substation Bakersfield, California, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate. Outstanding work, Marines. Now, please excuse me while I address the Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. You gotta love that, right? You made it to graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned the look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. We promise you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day to honor the legacy of those that came before you and the place and to blaze a trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it, so never forget the skills, the spirits, and the values that have been drilled into you, and I guarantee your success. You represent the Marine Corps now. You are the future of this great institution. 
You, you are, are my replacement, replacement and, and the replacement of your drill instructors. So stand, stand tall, take, take charge. charge. When, when you, you get, get home, home introduce your buddies to your, your local recruiter. recruiter. <laughs> Congratulations, Marines. Thank, Thank you for your hard work and for your commitment to serve this great nation of ours. Take, take care, care of each other. You cultivate, cultivate the relationships you've made with, with your fellow Marine. Marine. They it will serve you well. well. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Corps. Corps. Dallas. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Alan E. Smith, Sergeant Major, 9th Communications Battalion, Sergeant Major, 1st Marine Information Group. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major John J. Miller, Sergeant Major, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Sergeant Major Allen enlisted in the Marine Corps on 8 August 2000 and attended recruit training at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina, and completed Marine Combat Training and Military Police School. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include K-9 Handler, Trainer, and Kennel Master at Operation Iraqi Freedom. Drill Instructor at Kilo Company, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. Company 1st Sergeant for Company C, 4th 2nd Marine Headquarters Group, 2nd Law Enforcement Battalion, Military Police, Support Group, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Battery 1st Sergeant for 2nd Battalion, 10th Marine Regiment, Battery E, during Operation Inherent Resolve. Sergeant Major Smith currently serves as the Battalion Sergeant Major for 9th Communication Battalion. Sergeant Major Smith's personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award. The Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award. The Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award. And the Combat Action Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Alan E. Smith. The pass and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here for the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marines and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Busan, Injon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sang Yen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Gunnery Sergeant Benjamin J. Goodson and the Regimental Staff. San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Series 1029, Series Chief Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Joshua O. Zeger, and Platoon 1029, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant John P. Laola. Honor Platoon 1030, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Julio C. Mayorga. Platoon 1031, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Jonathan E. Corville.
the Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Rodolfo Navarrete. Series 1033, Series Chief Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant Donald J. Vilcek, and Platoon 1033, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Fernando S. Alzandua. Platoon 1034, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Blake A. Kendricks. Platoon 1035, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Adam C. Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you're all encouraged to join. Sing the words of the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines hymn. Will the guests please rise? Be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline the heart and soul of every Marine have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the core. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, 
The long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company B prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Christopher M. Guerra. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Benjamin J. Goodson. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company B. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. will now be returned to the drill instructors.
honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck, and First Sergeant Jessica C. Padilla, First Battalion, Charlie Company, First Sergeant. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present up! Order up! The honor graduate for Platoon 1029 is Private First Class Donald B. Elistad III from Grand Island, Nebraska. The honor graduate for Platoon 1030 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Josiah O. Nolan from Appleton, Wisconsin. The honor graduate for Platoon 1031 is Private First Class Donnell Brown from Fort Worth, Texas. The honor graduate for Platoon 1033 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Daniel T. Worth from Bakersfield, California. Lance Corporal Worth is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 1034 is Private First Class Christian R. Billadu from Chandler, Arizona. And the honor graduate for Platoon 1035 is Private First Class Sergio A. Diaz from El Paso, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company B. Company First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. concludes today's ceremony.
ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, please do not cross the parade deck and utilize the far ends. Pick up any trash around you and utilize always receptacles. Please start making your way towards the parking lot, utilizing the walkway behind the bleachers and go behind the yellow curb. Your Marine has been briefed on meeting you in the parking lot behind the yellow curb. Please keep in mind the level of training your Marine has